this week's Friday episodes of Opposites Interact. I'm Selena. I'm Jade. And, and this Free Rain Friday, we're doing a haul! Yay! So, I know we promised, Ooh. we promised that we would give you the lip swatch video today for the Sephora cream stains, but... This we, video will explain why that has been postponed a week, and I think it'll be a even much better. better video because of it. Yeah. Originally, we, we bought, bought 21. 21. Uh, I bought 10, Selena bought 10, and then went back and bought one more that we both really wanted. Yeah. Um, and, then, and we were like so excited and we filmed the whole video and it was going to take a really long time to edit, but we were really happy with it. And then um, our hands slipped. We bought this one. Um, these are all This is 40. all 40 Sephora cream lip stains. Yes, we already own 21 of these. So we are going to be doing a... Um, Giveaway with like the duplicates and anything that we don't like and anything that we're not keeping that's gonna be a giveaway We will use disposable applicators so that if you get one in a giveaway Yes, it's been swatched, but it's not been contaminated. contaminated. We hopefully will have this video out next week No promises. It's gonna be a lot a very time-consuming video to film and a very time-consuming video to edit and we are coming with it. Yes, we promise. Let's keep on the lipstick trend. Another thing we bought for videos that we haven't filmed yet. Um, it's on the docket. We bought a bunch of the Tattoo Junkie um, paint lip effects. We bought all three formulations they have. So sparkle, chrome, and velvet. And, velvet. and we're going to swatch, swatch and talk about these eventually they're cool and we'll give you more like thorough descriptions when it comes out well, keeping on the train of things we're buying for videos we are going to do a how i used to do my makeup video like high school middle school and i didn't wear a lot of makeup in high school and middle school but i did wear some very specific things so to get you excited for that i have this mineral powder which is the wrong color which is accurate. <laughs> I have this mascara, Maybelline mascara, which is the only mascara I owned until this year. I have black eyeliner. And anybody who heard my 40 questions tag is gonna be very surprised because I have lip gloss. I have clear and really sparkly pink lip gloss. And she, she was already like regretting this video <laughs> idea while we were picking out the lip glosses. It'll be a whole thing. Um, and. If you're like, but I spoiled the surprise. One, you don't know what it's gonna look like no. on. And two, Selena's gonna do her whole look as yeah. well. Yeah. So another thing I bought for a video is I've never tried any of the Real Techniques um, sponges before. So obviously I'm, this one's the one I've been using. So I'm going to do a comparison video between the Real Techniques, the original sponge, the Real Techniques diamond sponge and a beauty blender to see how they compare and whether or not I actually like the beauty blender the best. Our YouTube idol, uh, Glam Life Guru Tati, just did a video on these. After we had purchased them before we filmed our own video, we bought all of the Stila Magnificent Metals. All eight of them. All eight of them. These three are mine. And um, these five are mine. Okay. We're gonna do like a full swatch video. We're gonna review them. And compare them to like the Urban Decay Moon Dust. And the Touch and Soul um, foils. And then Selena is going to do a tutorial, tutorial. with these. Mm -hmm. So else? Selena and I recently went to the drugstore and I was just walking through and I was like, I wanna try that. I wanna try that. And speaking of glitters, I decided to pick up these. These are Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. They are very clearly made to look, look like, like these Touch look, and Soul glitters. Yeah, they totally do. Um, they're definitely trying to rip off that packaging. And so I grabbed two of these because I want to compare them. One, these are colors you can't get in the Touch and Souls. Mm -hmm. And two, I want to see how these compare formula wise to the more high end version. Apparently, we just buy a lot of things for videos. I bought three foundations from the drugstore to try them out because honestly I want to do a drugstore tutorial one of these days. Wait a minute, I don't really have any cheap drugstore foundations so I bought these guys. I bought the e.l.f. one, I bought the Maybelline uh, Dewy and Smooth, and then I bought the Wet n Wild. When you watch that drugstore makeup tutorial, whichever one was the winner was the one you'll see there. Yeah. <laughs> I have an Urban Decay eyeshadow problem and I saw swatches of this palette on Instagram and just like Full Spectrum Palette, I was like, immediately, want. I have to have it. So Sephora oh. in stores have gotten a restock. So if you're interested, it's gorgeous. I had it and I like didn't touch it for weeks because I was like, it's too pretty. It's too pretty to touch. But 
wearing it today and yep. loving it. Well, even though I've been banned from buying eyeshadows, I could not resist. I was thinking about what eyeshadow palette I wanted to use for my drugstore tutorial. I realized the palette didn't have a transition shade, so I needed a transition shade. And then I saw this and I was like, ooh, all the YouTubers talk about how awesome this palette is. So I bought the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone eyeshadow palette. I haven't been stopped from buying eyeshadow, so I didn't. I think this is like brand new. Um, Lorac Los Angeles California Dreamin eyeshadow palette. As you can tell, I bought this today. Yeah, we didn't even see like a tester out. We just saw the packaging and we're like, ooh. I grew up in California um, and seeing this, the packaging is really enticing. The one Lorac palette I have, I love. Mm -hmm. And these colors looked really enticing. So these are the colors. Oh my God, this is freaking gorgeous. I kid you not, we didn't even see what this palette no. looked like. It looks a lot similar to that new, the Too Faced white chocolate bar. The white chocolate chip the one, which one. I wanted for a while, but I think this is better. I also think they're like the same price. I think so too. Comment down below if you want me to do a tutorial with this palette. Because Jade hasn't decided beautiful. Thursday video yet. <laughs> I haven't decided my Thursday video for this week, and this is beautiful, and it's very different than what I would normally mm -hmm. pick, and so I'm excited. Starbucks break! things from the drugstore I'm just gonna group them all together the Neutrogena ultra light cleansing oil those of you who have watched my nighttime routine has no have noticed that like I like using oils to take off my makeup because she doesn't have acne because she's rude yeah in my opinion it's better than the Bosha cleansing oil so I like it a lot and I bought this NYX dark circle corrector I always use a color corrector underneath my um, makeup and so I needed one for my uh, drugstore tutorial and then this was three dollars so i was like oh i like elf let's try their eyeliner i bought two brushes recently um they're both sephora pro brushes which if you've been watching me for a while is kind of my jam number 52 pro stippling concealer brush it's a little bit of an angled brush this has been a godsend and i really really love this brush the second brush i got is number 79 this is the pro contouring brush and people are like it's a contour brush. Jade, you don't contour. This is it's an a incredible brush. highlight brush. Speaking of brushes, Selena bought more brushes too. I bought this um, number 95, the new Pro Contour Angled Dome Diffuser Brush. Um, I wanted to see how it worked with foundation because I always use a beauty blender with my foundation. I mean, it's really like nicely packed and it's really soft. And it's, it's cool, like, it's kind of cool. Also, while I was standing in front of Wet n Wild, um, I saw these brushes that are literally $2.99 and I needed a new blush brush. And then I bought this little concealer brush because I use little concealer brushes for inner corner highlights. Selena talked about recently that she really likes the Maybelline Color Tattoos as um, primer for eyeshadow and I've been having a really hard time with primer for eyeshadow because mm -hmm. I have watery eyes and greasy eyelids. Um, so I picked up two of these. This one is a color tattoo in number five, Too Cool. And this one is actually a color tattoo metal in uh, 70 Barely Branded. And I'm really excited to use these. I repurchased something I use all the time, every day. I ran out of my Pure Hydrogel Lift and it was on sale for 50% off. So I repurchased this guy. So again, in the seeing things at the drugstore and just having to try them, uh, we found these Nani Cream uh, section in the drugstore, which is a brand I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. And then these are like Color Prevails. They are do all gray like mascara. So they're black on one end and you're supposed to do black mascara. And then for your tips, you do a color. And I got one in turquoise and one in teal because those are my favorite colors. And I really wanted the plum one and I'm going to go back and buy it, but it was sold out. Once Selena gets the plum one, we'll probably do a video of just like does hey, this thing does this really work? work? I got suckered in by one of the displays in <laughs> Sephora. It's the Smashbox. I don't know what it's called. It's their metallic lip gloss. And I got the shade Brains and Bronze. It's like a total Selena color. And it's gorgeous. The very last thing I bought is I bought that black um, NYX eyeliner for my high school makeup video. And I bought a white one. I've been on that quest for the best eyeliner for me, and I finally found two that didn't make me cry, and neither of them come in white. Mm -hmm. And I have really little eyes, and I wanna do like 
anime cosplay makeup and so I bought this and I really really hope that it this works. formula doesn't make me cry so that I can use it. I bought a couple skincare items even though I said I wasn't going to. I bought a full size of the Ola Henriksen African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. I tried this before, it's the Ola Henriksen um, Walnut Complexion Scrub. I'm technically allergic to walnuts, but this scrub really doesn't bother me, but it's really great. That concludes our awesome haul. So that's our awesome haul. winter drugstore Sephora haul. Um, um, we're gonna try to limit our hauls to four to times a year. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. up. Let us know of any of the products you saw, what you're most excited for us to make more content about, whether it's the lip products, that eyeshadow palette I showed or you. Or even the drugstore look. The drugstore look. Or Jade's high school look. Or something to do with glitter or weird freaking mascara. And don't forget to subscribe because we do post videos every Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays now. Three times Yay! a week! We're good! And we will see you all on Monday. Bye! Bye.